Most yeast and bacterial cells are smaller than 10 micrometers. For direct visualization of single cells, a light microscope is needed. A multitude of microscope types is available. Most of them are based on a transmitted light compound microscope, meaning composed of multiple lenses. The basic rules for microscope adjustment are nearly identical for all compound microscopes. Following the light path, the compound microscope is composed of the light source, the condenser, the specimen stage, the objective revolver with various objectives, and the eyepieces or oculars. The light source is an adjustable halogen lamp. The adjustable luminous field diaphragm is placed just above the lamp. The condenser focuses light from the light source and illuminates the specimen with uniform intensity over the entire view field. In addition to the objective, quality and adjustment of the condenser is essential for the optical resolution of the microscope. This is the demounted condenser. A simple ABBA condenser consists of one or two lenses and a condenser aperture diaphragm placed below these lenses. Alternatively, the condenser annulus is placed here. The condenser annulus is part of the phase contrast system, which is particularly important for visualization of living microorganisms. You can see that just one of these apertures can be used at a time. Both are important for enhancing the contrast of the image, but in different ways. The specimen stage is equipped with control knobs for moving the slide in X, Y directions. Here, the specimen, mounted onto a glass slide, is placed for observation. An objective is the heart of the light microscope. Four objectives, with magnifications between four times and a hundred times, are mounted on a turret. Here, the primary image is formed, which makes the quality of the lenses crucial for the quality of the final image. It is important to have a look at the objective specifications. You find the objective type, the magnification, the numerical aperture, and the magnification color code on the objective body. The eyepieces further magnify the primary image produced by the objective, normally by 10 times. They do not, however, increase resolution. Eyepieces may also contain additional devices like measuring graticules, allowing us to measure object dimensions, or reticules for easy counting of small objects, 